Hi Leo, welcome back to my channel, Karma Fox. I am doing your weekly reading for the 13th through the 19th of August, 2023. I hope everybody's doing extremely well. I am gonna take a second to remind you that this is a general reading. It may not resonate with everyone out there, so do take what resonates for you and simply leave the rest for another Leo. Keep in mind that the energies can and sometimes do reverse or flip-flop. It's not unusual in a general reading. As always, Leo, please don't try to force yourself into a reading that is just not for you. Spirit, can I have the energy of the sign of Leo? Leo. All right, Leo, you are starting out with the moon. We have the queen of pentacles in the reverse. And the five of pentacles in the reverse. So... Leo, I, I feel like there's, um, you're keeping things kind of quiet. You're keeping things close. Uh, what do they say? Playing it close to the chest. Um, you could be having a little bit of financial trouble or there could be something here, um, a loss that you've experienced in relationship. Um, but I, I feel like you want a, you want a renewal of this connection that you may have lost. If this has to do with money, um, and for some of you, it does. I see that there's been a loss of money and you don't want anybody to know about it. Um, you're trying to get that money back. So, and I do feel like you will, you will get the money back, but you don't want anybody to know about this. Now, that's just a side note, but for most of you, as far as relationship goes, you've experienced loss and you want a reconciliation with this person. But you're kind of keeping quiet. You are you might be very mysterious to this other person right now. You're not really putting your business out there. And you're keeping things really close to the chest. Some of you could be a little bit um, depressed or you could be a little bit, um, a little down, you know, right now. Show me who's in Leo. Thank you. All right. The person in your energy. We have judgment. Okay. So they want to get this, this connection back together as well. Two of cups in the reverse. There's that ending. You're experiencing the loss. They are too. So there's mirroring that's going on here. And we have the sun. They're very focused on you. The sun is the sign of Leo. Now you could be involved with another Leo. But I do feel like this person is very focused on you. Um, there may have been a big argument here or, or a breakup. Um, I am seeing definitely that there, for some of you, this is a same-sex connection. Um, I am also seeing that this person went through some, some loss, some heartache. They're still experiencing that loss, but they want to bring this back together. This person prays about this connection. They, they pray to, for God to bring it back together. Shared energy. You have the Knight of Swords. You both want to have a truthful conversation with each other, but you're not telling this person that. Um, and I feel like they're praying for it. What's affecting the connection? Oh, it's the Ten of Cups. Yeah, you... you you guys feel like each other is their happiness. You might belong to a community together or you have friends that are together. Um, there's been a lot of happiness here and you both want that back. Let's see what's coming at the end of the week. Show me, show me the outcome at the end of the week. Show me the outcome at the end of the week. Ten of Swords reversed. Yeah. So I do feel like there's going to be some healing at the end of the week. You both want to rebuild this connection. And it looks like that's what's coming about. Now, at the bottom of the deck, we have the Temperance card. That's a, that's a card of healing. Balancing things out. Balancing out the emotions. Healing. Um, and it looks like it's going to be pretty speedy as well. So let's clarify. Spirit, why is the moon here for Leo? Three of Coins, Knight of Cups, yeah. So what you're keeping close to the close to your chest here is that you want to offer this person love, 
or you want them to offer it to you. But it's like you're you're not relating that. You're keeping that quiet. Um, I do feel that there there may have been like uh, some harsh words that have been said. Uh, a lot of you guys know this person through work or through some somehow through work. Maybe you met them at a job at a job site. Maybe I don't know, but some there's a connection somehow through work. I do feel that you want to build a foundation with this person. Um, why is the Queen of Pentacles in the reverse? Why is the Queen of Pentacles in the reverse? Yeah, judgment. They have judgment as well. Page of Pentacles reversed. Ace of Wands reversed. So I see the ending. Yeah, I see the ending and I see that um, you're not really speaking with this person. You may feel that this person, if you do offer love to them, that they're gonna turn it down. Um, they're not, they're definitely not. And I, I can see clearly that you want to reunite with this person. You, you feel this loss pretty keenly. Why is the Five of Pentacles in reverse? Why is the Five of Pentacles in reverse? Oh, there's that Ten of Swords, but it's going to be reversed. It's going to be a reversal of that. You may have felt betrayed by this person. Yeah, you feel betrayed by this person, so you're not speaking with them. Page of Wands in the reverse. Page of Pentacles in the reverse. Um, I am seeing that there is a little bit of immature energy when it comes to to how you express yourself. So be aware of that. Or you could think that about them. I do see, though, that you feel betrayed by this person, but you're still wanting to reconcile with them. And you may feel that they don't feel the same way, but they do. Why is judgment here? Let's look at their energy. Queen of Pentacles in the upright. Oh. You could be dealing with an earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. This person's doing a lot of self-care right now. And if they have children, they're focused on their children. We're getting a lot of repeating cards. And that tells me that this is strong, strong energy. So this person is still healing. I feel like they're really focusing upon their home, upon their children, if they have children. Their money. They're focusing on their money and, and work. Um, I'm seeing that work connection again. They definitely want to bring it back together. They've been feeling unbalanced since the two of you have have broken off here. Why is the two of cups in reverse? Seven of pentacles. Yeah, they've been very patient. They've been waiting to see what's going to happen here. And they're tired of waiting now. Um, I do feel like they're ready to invest. They're tired of waiting. And they do see you as their happiness. So why is the sun here? I think I feel like they've been very patient, but they're growing impatient now. The time apart um, is, is wearing on them. Why is the sun here? Oh, they've been sad. Five of Cups. They've been really sad, and they see you as the answer. And I'm not saying you're the answer, but that's how they're seeing you. They're looking at the past. They're looking at the conflicts that happened between the two of you. Page of Swords reversed. They had, the two of you haven't been speaking. That's making them very sad. Um, they also have some immaturity in how they express themselves. And I feel like this person is looking at the past, looking at the conflict that the two of you had, because you're definitely not seeing eye to eye. And there could have been some, some things that were omitted or not said. There could have been lies involved. This person's looking at everything that happened, and I feel like they're seeing things more clearly. And they're impatient, actually, to, to have communication with you. So let's look at this um, Knight of Swords. Why is the Knight of Swords here? Why is this Knight of Swords here? 
Nine of Cups reverse. And the Devil in reverse. Sign of Capricorn is very strong. Um, yeah, so I do feel that <laughs> this person has some regrets. I feel like sharp words were said. There was something here. Um, there could have been something said about this person not not fulfilling you. Or there could have been something said about some toxic behavior. Um, I can see that the, if this person did have something toxic in their energy, I can see that they they don't want anything else. They don't want any more toxic energy. Yeah. So there, there was a conversation or there will be a conversation between the two of you. Truth is going to be spoken. This person's going to going to let you know that either they are addressing addictions or toxic energy, that they're healing, that they're taking care of themselves, that they want this to come back together, or that they want you to address those things. Um, I do feel like there were words said or there may be words that are going to be said that, that you don't want to hear. You don't want to hear. Um, and so you've kind of pulled back pretty sharply. So, and they pulled back too. So why is the Ten of Cups here? You both want emotional fulfillment. And I feel like there was a lot of happiness in this connection at some point. And it's still affecting it, the connection. Nine of Swords. Five of Swords reversed. Yeah, they're impatient to come forward and, and end the conflict so the two of you can be happy again. You're really worried, though. You're worried that, that if you offer something to this person that they'll turn you down or that they don't want you anymore, that that this is a permanent loss. And, and both of you really just want the happiness that you had before. So... I'm telling you, Leo, this person does want to be with you. They do. Um, why is the Ten of Swords in reverse? Because you're very worried. You think about this person a lot at night. You think about what happened between the two of you. And there's a desire to, to come back together. Just know that this person is doing the same thing. The two of you are kind of mirroring each other. I don't know what happened here, but there was an ugly conflict, and I feel like somebody didn't fight fair. All right, we have the chariot in reverse. Eight of wands reverse, and justice in reverse. So there is going to be healing in this connection. Um, this sense of things being over and done is going to pass, but I don't see it passing this week. This person still has a little bit of that um, energy where there's conflict, you know. Um, it has to do with them feeling that they've been wronged. So they want to be with you, but they feel a little bit wronged here. They may feel that there's been lies or that there was a, um, that there was competition, that you were, you were competing. Or it could have been them that was doing it. They're doing a review of everything that's happened, though. And I don't feel like they're quite ready. I don't feel like they're quite ready to talk just yet. And that's what's keeping it from moving forward successfully. And so you're going to be feeling a little bit blocked. You're still feeling very betrayed and hurt. And I feel like um, either that or you feel that you betrayed this person. So the undercurrents show me that the two of you do want to bring this back together. You both think about happier times. But I don't see there's going to be communication by the end of the week. It is coming. It is going to happen. Those feelings of betrayal are going to, to be resolved. And I do see rebuilding something. There was a very painful ending here, though. And neither of you are quite ready to bring it back together. Um, they're kind of waiting to see what's going to happen. But it's building. That energy is building. And I feel like you you have some serious misgivings about whether this person is going to be receptive to you. I don't think they're going to be receptive this week. But they are addressing issues here. So it's not... If you do get communication from this person, it's not going to be communication that you want. 
Some of you may block may have blocked this person. That's definitely not going to help. Or you may feel blocked by them. So I don't see it moving forward by the end of the week, but I do see it eventually moving forward. Bottom of the deck, we have the Seven of Cups. And that tells me that, you know, there's confusion right now that's still underlying all of this. So it might take a little bit of time. Keep in mind, these are weekly readings, so this energy can pass pretty quickly. And there was a lot of happiness here that I feel like is still affecting this connection. So just kind of keep your chin up and just, you know, work on you. And as you do that, I feel like I feel like this person wants the same things that you do. I think they want to come back together as well. But you're going to have to give it a little bit of time. Let's see if any messages pop out for you guys. Just one. Let's see what it is. Yeah, the runner. The runner in a codependent relationship. Somebody has a fear of intimacy or they're listening to their ego. Yeah. So, ego could be an issue here. Somebody could have fears of intimacy and that's where this conflict is coming from. Um, I don't feel like it's you, but it could be. So, just give this a little bit of time. Somebody's still running. So, give it some time. All right, I hope this has been helpful for you, Leo. If you have resonated with this reading, please hit that like button. And if you have not subscribed yet, I would be grateful if you do. Until I see you guys in next week's reading, namaste.